What's going on and welcome to Quick Picks. My name is Tom Vecchio. Week five of the NFL season is here and I'm set to bring you three player props. So let's jump in. Starting off with Steph Diggs of the Buffalo Bills. Anytime touchdown, seeing a minus 125. The Bills have a big 30.25 implied team total. They're 14 point home favorites taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Diggs has been awesome for the Bills this season, coming with a 24.8% market share, 38.6% air yard market share, and a 29.6% red zone market share. None of this should be a surprise. Josh Allen likes to target Diggs early and often, and when they get to the scoring areas on the field, it's often going in Diggs' direction. Uh, we look to the Steelers on defense, and they haven't been good this year. They've allowed the ninth most receptions to wide receivers, the seventh most yards to wide receivers, and have tied are tied for the third most touchdowns allowed. So the Bills are going to be putting up some points. Surprise, surprise. And, you know, Diggs is due for a bit of a bounce back after two somewhat quiet weeks. So Diggs, anytime touchdown, minus 125. Next up, Amari Cooper, over 49 and a half receiving yards. The Browns are two and a half point home underdogs hosting the Los Angeles Chargers, 47 over under. Close game, we should see some scoring, some back and forth. The Browns like to run the ball. That's not a surprise. They come in with a 46.98 pass play percentage, which is the fourth lowest in the league. Yes, they run the ball, but when they do pass, it often goes in Amari Cooper's direction. He comes in with a 25.2% market share, an 11.5 ADOT, that's average depth of target, and a big 38.9% air yard market share. So Brissett is targeting Cooper downfield. So they pass the ball. It often goes to Amari Cooper. This is good to see. The Chargers have allowed the 15th most receiving yards to wide receivers. So league average is not anything we need to be worried about. And Amari Cooper comes in projected for 57 receiving yards, hitting the over on his 49 and a half receiving prop. Finally, Kirk Cousins over 32 and a half pass attempts. Uh, the Vikings are passing the ball a ton this year. They come with a 64.96 pass play percentage, which is the fifth highest in the league. Their offense has shifted this year. They are much more pass heavy. That has led to Kirk Cousins posting 38 pass attempts or more in three of the four games. And he's averaging 39.25 pass attempts per game. All this is good for Kirk Cousins going up against the Bears. The Vikings are seven and a half point home favorites. All this leads to Cousins being projected for 36 pass attempts, hitting the over on his prop. All right, so that does it for this week. We'll be back next week with three more player props.